Hey, y'all, and thank y'all for tuning in. Now, if this is your first time, welcome. Now, if you've been here before, welcome back. Y'all, I am overly excited today because we are going over the Alfredo Lovers Flaming Hot Cajon Alfredo Chicken and Sausage Pasta, y'all. And on this channel, the food is always the star. Y'all ready to get going? All right, y'all, we got a pot of rolling water. We have some butter and we have some Italian herb that we dropping in that. That's base, y'all, better than bouillon. And I'm cooking the pasta in it. I'm working with penne noodles, y'all. Once I get this up to a rolling boil and I drop the pasta in that water, y'all, I'm going to let it work for about three minutes on high. Cover it up. Slide it over to the next eye because I need room to work. And I'm going to put that on low, cover it up, and let that work on low. And then I'm going to drain and strain, y'all. Next up, we are working on the pasta sauce. Yes, we are working on this flaming, 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 y'all, hot Cajon. Flaming Cajon. Chicken Alfredo sausage pasta. Now we have this heavy cream. Shake this vigorously, y'all. Thicken it up already. It helps it out, believe it or not. That will help you get the mother or the root of your sauce going, y'all. That will help you get that foundation. It's going to be thick and you want it to be thick because keep in mind, we're going to be adding more milk into it. We're going to be adding other ingredients into it as well, y'all. So we want to whisk, 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 whisk. We're going to add that butter into it. That butter always will help you add sheen don't wait until you get it on the heat to add that butter into it you can you can have it on heat but put the butter in first before you put that heavy cream in all right get the butter and the corn starts going or just get the butter going and then get the heavy cream going and whisk it in cornstarch is not necessary to make a cream based sauce y'all but i chose to use cornstarch in this one right here and this is not on the heat at all y'all no mm -mm. y'all remember that bottle we did a video y'all of some buffalo wings of some chicken wings lemon pepper wings y'all barbecue wings y'all check that video out now you see me putting in that flaming hot Ooh -wee. cheeto dust y'all take the ninja blender and blend it up fine blend it up good y'all and then incorporate it in there can you believe we are doing this? Yes, we got to work it. We got to whisk it. It's still not on the heat, y'all, because we are working on the foundation of the sauce. You do not have to rush to get it on the heat. You can get everything mise en place in its place. And then when it comes time to put it on the heat right here, you ready to go. You add your milk in. You got it on high heat and you are whisking expeditiously, y'all. And then go ahead and add that milk in. You see how it's thickening up. Now, low heat and whisk, y'all. Keep whisking, low heat and whisk, because we are not quite there yet. Add in that monster cheese, y'all. Spooky, spooky, spooky. Halloween is right around the corner, and I did this with that in mind. I did this knowing that we also have Christmas, which is red too as well in mind. I did this because Valentine is going to be coming up. I had that in mind, y'all. I'm thinking of my family, y'all, and y'all might as well know I am your brother. Yes, add whatever flavor agents you want, y'all. That's Montreal chicken seasoning you saw me put. I put a little bit of tomato chicken based seasoning i put some garlic seasoning too in there as well y'all paprika is gonna go in here too as well y'all mm -hmm. that's that right there y'all we gonna do it like that we're gonna put some tony saturies in there too as well those are the base of what i used in this sauce and we're gonna keep whisking it it's on low heat now y'all flaming Cajon Alfredo sauce. Can you believe we are doing this? Yes, I'm telling you, food is entertainment, y'all. And I hope you are entertained. Are you not entertained? You should be. You should be, y'all. The heat is still off, but we're going to keep working it. Because think about this. Imagine, once you get this right, mm, mm, mm. Just like your grandmama would say, more baby, more. They need more baby. 
They going to eat this up. And I miss my grannies and I think about them so much because I am a chef. And I just think about when I was a child, how hard they would work. Grandpa coming in mm, at a young age. I remember I was so young. But anyway, I still remember those days. He chased me around with a belt. Y'all. But anyway, guys, gals, my family members, my family members. Let's get back to the point. We're going to get these veggies sliced up. We're going to put our fingers on the right way. Index on one side, thumb on the other side. Other fingers are coved, y'all. These chives cost me nothing because I grew them, y'all. This tomato right here cost me, what, maybe about 75 cents, y'all. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to get it sliced up, put it all together. That pasta cost me about 98 cents, family. I'm working with an Earl Campbell sausage rope. Now, I'm using about mm, a third of that sausage rope, too, as well, y'all. So that didn't cost me that much money. That might be about mm, $2 worth of sausage. I'm going to go ahead and say $2 worth of sausage. Think about that, how much this is costing. This is a chicken cutlet. It was one chicken breast, and I sliced it in half, y'all, okay? Butterfly it, essentially, and let it marinate for a day or two. And this is what we come up with, one chicken breast, okay? And we're going to feed the fam. This is how you do it. You slice it. You make sure you extend these portions, y'all. One chicken breast, a third of a sausage length. Y'all, come on. We can do this at home ourselves. Yes. We're going to add more to the, yeah, uh-huh, to the chicken, to the sausage, to the veggies. We're going to get it all, all mixed up, y'all. And when you mix it up, go ahead and use both hands, y'all. Get both hands in. Now, if the bowl is sliding everywhere, what you could do is just put a damp towel on the counter so you can keep that bowl in place and you can just get both hands in now. Get them in there, mix it up good. You can't mix well with one hand. I know people think you can, but hey, if you in the kitchen and your chef see you mix it with one hand, uh, we got issues. He gonna say something, she gonna say something to you. They are going to say something to you. Now, we got the cast iron working. We gonna drop some lemons in there, y'all. I know you at home and you say, I ain't gotta have no chef around me. I get it, I get the point, y'all, I get the point. Okay, we got the lemons in the cast iron, y'all. We working it, we working the lemons, y'all, and that's in butter, right? Now, we got that going. We're going to put a little bit more butter in there because we don't want that butter to just dissipate all the way. All right? So, we put just a touch more in there. And now, we are going to get this Cajon, this Flame On Cajon mix going, y'all. Did you know that in Texas, it's a lot of Cajun folk? Lots of Cajun folk in Texas. Y'all, believe it or not, I got Cajon in me, too. Listen, I'm in Texas, and I got that Cajon in my blood, and I love every drop of it. Shout out to all my folks in Louisiana down there in the bayou. I love y'all. Wish I could see y'all more often. Surely, surely I do. But y'all, we're going to mix this up, and this is on high heat, y'all. Then we're going to cut it down, and we're going to let it work. We're going to let this work, y'all. Do you see the color in the dish already, y'all? Do you see that color? in the protein and in the veggies. Can you imagine how that looks as you cooking it? I have never in my life seen anything like this, y'all. I've seen a lot of stuff, a lot, but I haven't seen this and this is why I'm doing this. I'm telling you, God put this thought in my head, y'all, and I did this for my family. I cook for my family. I care about my family, and y'all are my family. I really, really mean it, y'all. I ain't just saying that. Now, we're getting this to the point to where we can cut that heat down because we don't want it to dry out, and we don't want it to burn either. Now, let's take a look at the sauce that we had sitting over here on the side. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's too thick for you, if the sauce gets too thick, thin it out. Look at that. Now, look at this sauce. Can y'all imagine? Look at this, y'all. Okay, we're going to go round and round and round, round and round and round and round and round and round we go. Why are we doing this, y'all? We need the pasta to stay in place. All right? I got a little bit exaggerated with it. Yes, I did, but it's okay. Now, notice how those noodles are not sliding everywhere. That's why the chef puts sauce as the base, the foundation. Notice the only noodles that are falling are the noodles that are on the top. And when the noodles on the top fall, notice how they fall. 
And look, as I'm layering this pasta dish, notice how the pasta is still standing as a tower in the foundation with the weight because ooh, ha, that sauce right there, that is red, y'all. I have never, ever in my life seen something like this, y'all. That look good now, y'all. I mean, extremely good. Think on it, y'all. Imagine if you in a restaurant, dimly lit, Valentine's Day, and you see flaming Cajun red Alfredo pasta under that light, under that ambiance. Somebody whips this up for you. Think about it. Or you whip this up for somebody. Think on it, y'all. Or if you a chef, you own your catering business, and you do something like this for your clients. And I mean, the taste is spot on, y'all. It tastes like Cajun Alfredo sauce. Don't let that look deceive you because it's red. Red turns heads. That's what we say down here in Texas. It does. Red turns heads. Okay? Take a look at that there, y'all. That's what it's all about, y'all. It's having fun with your family and your friends and using your imagination to create whatever you want to create. Notice there was no food dyes put in there. The only dyes that were used were the flaming Hot Cheetos themselves. All right. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. We appreciate that. Now, if you feel like it's something that we miss, let us know so we can add it to the playlist, y'all. Now, y'all be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all on the next side in your up next section and in your browser. And thank y'all because y'all part of the family.